listen Do your own math and learn the stuff that you are missing Create your own path with your own vision Hey, this is Rodney Porter for Homeless, Not Helpless TV. Today's date, February 10th, 2010, Wednesday. Via satellite reporting from beautiful sunny Los Angeles, California. Today's show is entitled Homeless Homelessness For Kids What a Tragedy This Homelessness Around the country Around the world for whatever reason, it's tragic. It makes you want to cry inside or actually shed tears. I seen a show yesterday on Evening News, reported by the name of Robert Pitts from CBS, reported on a child that was actually homeless and wanted to know the effects of how he felt and what it made him feel like currently being homeless and I too am homeless but the guy the interviewer the gentleman he just asked him a series of questions how does it feel what do you do he, the young boy, he mentioned he's actually 10 years old, if I'm not mistaken, in that age range, 8 to 10. And he just simply asked him, what's the worst thing about being homeless? And he mentioned food. He would discuss how he would eat certain foods at school, but he would save some so he can take it home because he didn't have food to eat. So he would take the school food home and eat that for dinner. And he went on and he went on and he went on. Let me say one thing. My story it's just one of many. But when you're dealing with kids, that takes precedent over whatever I'm going through. That's why I love having this show, Homeless Not Helpless TV. Because you truly get to hear, not just through my accounts, through me, others that have the same plight. And it's horrific to me. I'm a real, real sentimental type of guy. I have two beautiful daughters. And thank God they live with their mom. Because having my two beautiful daughters in my same situation, I wouldn't be able to take it. When I actually started actually being homeless in 2004, I would go to areas where I can get away. Such as the park. I love the outdoors. I love the sun, the grass, the trees, the animals. I'm a nature person. So I would go to this park and we had a double level. So I would go up to the top level and overlook the whole city. And other people would come different times. I would be there all morning when it opens, all day, just sitting in the car, listening to music, smoking, anything to kill the time. 
but I was in a place where I was comfortable and I was happy and I was content to get away from this homelessness. And I met a couple who had a child, a boy. He was five, six years old. They had a black van, the older style van with the window, the big window on the side. You can see right through. And that devastated me. I just started in this homeless path and me seeing that family, I don't know if it was a husband, but I believe it was just boyfriend, girlfriend, but it was their child, blew me away. That shit blew me away, because I never knew. So to hear that story on CBS yesterday, it prompted me to let everybody out there that's listening to my voice and looking at this mug right here, I don't just have things to say. Others have things to say. And I just would love to be a voice for the ones that would never ever utter anything out their mouth. I don't need any help. I can do it. Never mind. Forget it. Forget it. I'll just suffer. I'll just suffer. That was my mentality. And then I realized that it's people out here that care, that I've been knowing for years, and I just recently met their acquaintance. But you got to have that companionship, that energy from people. And I have to be around people. Sometimes I don't like to be around people, but we need it. We have to have that camaraderie with fellow man have to be around humans. Can't stay in a sheer depression as I was all these years. But my story, it's nothing compared to a child living in the streets, a child living place to place, not having a house, not having an apartment, not having any food, not having any money. So naturally a child's mind is not as strong as ours as adults. So they're gonna go straight down. And the depression will overwhelm them. So you have to get help to help that child get through this short spit, short spell, I should say. Just a short time. It's just a pit stop in your life where you wake up and either you fly right or you sink. I'm flying right, and I want to help others fly right, even at this very, very small for right now, medium that I have. And when I say small, I mean I want to be grand. I want others to hear what I have to say on a constant, regular basis. And the internet is grand. And I love having this opportunity to let you know that there are adults out here homeless. The kids out here homeless. We have to stop this shit. And I'm going to do my part and we'll never leave the cause. Because things are looking up. But if they go a little sideways or short downturn for a short time, I can handle that. I know I can get out of that. But can a child get out of that? Not with help. They need help. So please reach out if you know anybody that might be homeless. Help them. You could be anonymous. Be some canned goods. Some Donate some money. It definitely will be worth it. This is one reporter's opinion. Homeless. Homelessness. It's a terrible, tragic thing. But homeless kids? I can't even imagine. But it is happening. And here at homelessnothelpless.tv 
I will be helping. Have a good one. This is Rodney Porter for homelessnothelpless.tv. Have a good one, you guys. See you.